Cities are a major hotspot for the development of communities. Communities can form around specific ideas, geographies, and backgrounds. So, why is it that we're so fond of our communities? Well, they are places where one can feel safe, understood, and even loved. They have an amazing capability of making us feel part of something much larger than ourselves. But what happens when communities become the main creators of boundaries? Boundaries can be ideological as well as physical. They can represent differences in perspective, religion, race, culture, economic status, and even hobbies. These boundaries can limit our society's capabilities to overcome the great problems that our future holds. Furthermore, they might just happen to be the root for many of those problems. In my home country, Mexico, it is evident that the upper class and lower class communities have created an enormous economic boundary. This boundary creates a vicious cycle between these two communities, with destructive results for both of them. Resentment, frustration, dissatisfaction, lack of opportunities, crime, and even fear are some of the byproducts of this cycle. I envision that this boundary will be overcome with the help of technologically aided nourishment of empathy, humane values, and equal learning opportunities. When thinking about the future of cities, we must push ourselves to imagine ways in which we can leverage and potentialize the positive aspects of communities while forwarding the creation of boundaries. I invite us all to reflect upon the following questions. What are some of the boundaries that your communities have created? How could you go about solving them? How would this change the place where you live? And lastly, how could we make our communities flourish without boundaries? It is my profound belief that a world constructed upon communities without boundaries promises a more fair, diverse, and progressive life for each and every one of us.